The provinces and territories of Canada are the sub-national governments within the geographical areas of Canada under the authority of the Canadian Constitution. In the 1867 Canadian Confederation, three provinces of British North America, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, and the Province of Canada, which upon confederation was divided into Ontario and Quebec, were united to form a federated colony, becoming a sovereign nation in the next century. Over its history, Canada's international borders have changed several times, and the country has grown from the original four provinces to the current ten provinces and three territories. The ten provinces are Alberta, British Columbia, Manitoba, New Brunswick, Newfoundland and Labrador, Nova Scotia, Ontario, Prince Edward Island, Quebec, and Saskatchewan. Together, the provinces and territories make up the world's second largest country by area. Several of the provinces were former British colonies, and Quebec was originally a French colony, while others were added as Canada grew. The three territories are Northwest Territories, Nunavut, and Yukon, which govern the rest of the area of the former British North America. The major difference between a Canadian province and a territory is that provinces receive their power and authority from the Constitution Act, 1867 formerly called the British North America Act, 1867, whereas territorial governments have powers delegated to them by the Parliament of Canada. The powers flowing from the Constitution Act are divided between the Government of Canada the federal government and the provincial governments to exercise exclusively. A change to the division of powers between the federal government and the provinces requires a constitutional amendment, whereas a similar change affecting the territories can be performed unilaterally by the Parliament of Canada or government. In modern Canadian constitutional theory, the provinces are considered to be sovereign within certain areas based on the divisions of responsibility between the provincial and federal government within the Constitution Act 1867, and each province thus has its own representative of the Canadian Crown. The lieutenant governor. The territories are not sovereign, but instead their authorities and responsibilities come directly from the federal level, and as a result have a commissioner instead of a lieutenant governor. Map Provinces Notes Provincial legislature buildings Territories There are three territories in Canada. Unlike the provinces, the territories of Canada have no inherent sovereignty and have only those powers delegated to them by the federal government. They include all of mainland Canada north of latitude 60 degrees north and west of Hudson Bay, as well as most islands north of the Canadian mainland from those in James Bay to the Canadian Arctic Islands. The following table lists the territories in order of precedence each province has precedence over all the territories, regardless of the date each territory was created. <laughs> Territorial legislature buildings Territorial evolution Ontario, Quebec, New Brunswick, and Nova Scotia were the original provinces, formed when several British North American colonies federated on July 1, 1867, into the Dominion of Canada and by stages began accruing the indicia of sovereignty from the United Kingdom. Prior to this, Ontario and Quebec were united as the province of Canada. Over the following years, Manitoba 1870, British Columbia 1871, and Prince Edward Island 1873 were added as provinces. The British Crown had claimed two large areas northwest of the Canadian colony, known as Rupert's Land and the Northwestern Territory and assigned them to the Hudson's Bay Company. In 1870, the company relinquished its claims for £300,000 assigning the vast territory to the Government of Canada. Subsequently, the area was reorganized into the province of Manitoba and the Northwest Territories. The Northwest Territories were vast at first, encompassing all of current northern and western Canada, except for the British holdings in the Arctic Islands and the colony of British Columbia. The territories also included the northern two thirds of Ontario and Quebec, and almost all of present Manitoba, with the 1870 province of Manitoba originally being confined to a small area in the south of today's province. The British claims to the Arctic Islands were transferred to Canada in 1880, adding to the size of the Northwest Territories. 
The year of 1898 saw the Yukon Territory, later renamed simply as Yukon, carved from the parts of the Northwest Territories surrounding the Klondike gold fields. On September 1, 1905, a portion of the Northwest Territories south of the 60th parallel north became the provinces of Alberta and Saskatchewan. In 1912, the boundaries of Quebec, Ontario, and Manitoba were expanded northward, Manitobas to the 60 degrees parallel, Ontario's to Hudson Bay and Quebec's to encompass the district of Ungava. In 1869, the people of Newfoundland voted to remain a British colony over fears that taxes would increase with Confederation, and that the economic policy of the Canadian government would favour mainland industries. In 1907, Newfoundland acquired Dominion status. In the middle of the Great Depression in Canada with Newfoundland facing a prolonged period of economic crisis, the legislature turned over political control to the Commission of Government in 1933. Following Canada's participation in World War II, in a 1948 referendum, a narrow majority of Newfoundland citizens voted to join the Confederation, and on March 31, 1949, Newfoundland became Canada's tenth province. In 2001, it was officially renamed Newfoundland and Labrador. In 1903, the Alaska Panhandle dispute fixed British Columbia's northwestern boundary. This was one of only two provinces in Canadian history to have its size reduced. The second reduction, in 1927, occurred when a boundary dispute between Canada and the Dominion of Newfoundland saw Labrador increased at Quebec's expense. This land returned to Canada, as part of the province of Newfoundland, in 1949. In 1999, Nunavut was created from the eastern portion of the Northwest Territories. Yukon lies in the western portion of the north, while Nunavut is in the east. All three territories combined are the most sparsely populated region in Canada, covering 3,921,739 square kilometers, 1,514,192 square miles in land area. They are often referred to as a single region, the north, for organizational and economic purposes. For much of the Northwest Territory's early history it was divided into several districts for ease of administration. The District of Kiwatin was created as a separate territory from 1876 to 1905, after which, as the Kiwatin region, it became an administrative district of the Northwest Territories. In 1999, it was dissolved when it became part of Nunavut. Government. Theoretically, provinces have a great deal of power relative to the federal government, with jurisdiction over many public goods such as health care, education, welfare, and intra-provincial transportation. They receive «transfer payments» from the federal government to pay for these, as well as exacting their own taxes. In practice, however, the federal government can use these transfer payments to influence these provincial areas. For instance, in order to receive health care funding under Medicare, provinces must agree to meet certain federal mandates, such as universal access to required medical treatment. Provincial and territorial legislatures have no second chamber like the Canadian Senate. Originally, most provinces did have such bodies, known as legislative councils, with members titled councillors. These upper houses were abolished one by one, Quebec's being the last in 1968. In most provinces, the single house of the legislature is known as the Legislative Assembly. The exceptions are Nova Scotia and Newfoundland and Labrador, where the chamber is called the House of Assembly, and Quebec, where it is called the National Assembly. Ontario has a Legislative Assembly, but its members are called members of the Provincial Parliament or MPPs. The Legislative Assemblies use a procedure similar to that of the House of Commons of Canada. The head of government of each province, called the Premier, is generally the head of the party with the most seats. This is also the case in Yukon, but the Northwest Territories and Nunavut have no political parties at the territorial level. The Queen's representative to each province is the Lieutenant Governor. In each of the territories there is an analogous commissioner, but he or she represents the federal government rather than the monarch. <laughs> Provincial political parties. Most provinces have rough provincial counterparts to major federal parties. However, these provincial parties are not usually formally linked to the federal parties that share the same name. For example, no provincial conservative or progressive conservative party shares an organizational link to the Federal Conservative Party of Canada, and neither do provincial Green parties to the Green Party of Canada. 
Provincial New Democratic Parties, on the other hand, are fully integrated with the Federal New Democratic Party, meaning that provincial parties effectively operate as sections, with common membership, of the Federal Party. The Liberal Party of Canada shares such an organizational integration with the provincial Liberals in New Brunswick, Newfoundland and Labrador, Nova Scotia, and Prince Edward Island. Other provincial liberal parties are unaffiliated with their federal counterpart. Some provinces have provincial political parties with no clear federal equivalent, such as the Alberta Party, Saskatchewan Party, and Wildrose Party. The provincial political climate of Quebec is quite different. The main split is between sovereignty, represented by the Parti Québécois and Quebec Solidaire, and federalism, represented primarily by the Quebec Liberal Party. The coalition Avenir Quebec, meanwhile, takes an abstentionist position on the question and does not support or oppose sovereignty. Currently, the only minority provincial, territorial government is held by the British Columbia New Democratic Party after receiving 41 out of 87 seats in the 2017 general election. Ceremonial territory The Canadian National Vimy Memorial, near Vimy, Pas de Calais, and the Beaumont Hamel Newfoundland Memorial, near Beaumont Hamel, France, are ceremonially considered Canadian territory. In 1922, the French government donated the land used for the Vimy Memorial, freely, and for all time, to the Government of Canada the free use of the land exempt from all taxes. The site of the Somme battlefield near Beaumont Hamel site was purchased in 1921 by the people of the Dominion of Newfoundland. These sites do not, however, enjoy extraterritorial status and are thus subject to French law. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Proposed provinces and territories. Since Confederation in 1867, there have been several proposals for new Canadian provinces and territories. The Constitution of Canada requires an amendment for the creation of a new province but the creation of a new territory requires only an Act of Parliament, a legislatively simpler process. In late 2004, Prime Minister Paul Martin surprised some observers by expressing his personal support for all three territories gaining provincial status, eventually. He cited their importance to the country as a whole and the ongoing need to assert sovereignty in the Arctic, particularly as global warming could make that region more open to exploitation leading to more complex international waters disputes. See also Canadian provincial and territorial name etymologies Canadian adjectival and demonymic forms of place names Language policies of Canada's provinces and territories List of areas disputed by Canada and the United States List of regions of Canada List of governments in Canada by annual expenditures Commonwealth Local Government Forum Americas Provincial Museums of Canada List of Canada-related topics by provinces and territories List of Canadian provinces and territories by area List of Canadian provinces and territories by gross domestic product List of Canadian provinces and territories by population List of Canadian provincial and territorial symbols List of Canadian provinces by unemployment rate Canada – Wikipedia book References Further reading External links Provincial and Territorial Government Websites, Service Canada Provincial and Territorial Legislature Websites, Parliament of Canada Difference between Provinces and Territories, Intergovernmental Affairs Provincial and Territorial Statistics, Statistics Canada Provincial and Territorial Immigration Information, Citizenship and Immigration Canada Canadian Governments Compared, University of Public Administration <laughs>